Hi, this is Michael, and today I am reviewing a pretty unique product. This is the Spade. This is a uh, tool that you can use to clean your ears of earwax. I know it sounds a little weird, right? But this is a really interesting little uh, tool because what it does is actually gives you a variety of tips that you can insert into your ear. And not only that, it has a camera with LED lights surrounding the camera to give you a clear view, relatively, of what you are doing on your smartphone. So I wanna show you this, talk a little bit about it. I've been using this for a couple of weeks now, and I can tell you it really does work. And it'll work better for some people uh, than others for a variety of reasons, and I'll get into that as we begin to look at the spade. So let's open up the box and see what you get, first of all. They've actually packaged this quite well, and it's kind of uh, kind of neat just opening this up in layers and seeing what you all get. But first of all, you do get the, uh, this is the instruction guide right here, and it's pretty self-explanatory. This is a little uh, card of warnings, and then these are all the various tips and assorted accessories that you get with the axle grade. So first of all, this is the spade right here and it has a very nice heft to it. It actually feels like a, a quality piece of uh, equipment here. This is a weighted base, and the tool itself can go either this way on the base, or if you're charging it, uh, it would flip around this way. And it does have a cap that removes, and when you remove the cap, it's a magnetic. You can feel a little bit of a tug here, but when you remove it, it turns the device on. So obviously this is a rechargeable uh, device and the base does come with a USB-C plug and they provide a USB to USB-C cable for you. Um, now when you unscrew the top of this base, this is where you're gonna see a whole variety of different tips. And, uh, and they all are for different purposes. And then over here in the other bin, you've got a couple of extra tips, and you also have some extra alcohol swab wipes. Then you also get a package of, these are like cotton swabs that have a little bit of alcohol on them, and these are used for cleaning the lens. Uh, the lens is here. And so you would use the swab to clean the lens. And as you use this in your ear, you will find that that lens will get dirty. So it's nice that they uh, provide you at least with a starter amount of swabs. And then the most mysterious thing that's included in the package are these three feather tips, feather tipped things. And uh, I don't uh, use them. I'm not even sure how to use them but the manual describes those little feather things as, what do they, what's the exact wording that they use? Uh, they call them massage feathers to help soothe irritations. Well, um, I'm not really sure how that would work exactly. It's just a very, very soft feather. When I rub it on my finger, I can barely even feel anything. But whatever you uh, choose to do with those, that is totally up to you, and uh, I won't tell anyone about that. As far as the tips, let's take a closer look at what these tips are all about. At a quick glance, some of these tips look very similar to each other. Now this is called the Q elastic tip. Uh, it's basically, it looks like a very small little spoon, and it's it doesn't have very much of an angle to it. So it comes off the plastic shaft there almost straight. It just has a slight amount of angle to it. Then the next one, this is called the deep ear ear pick. Now this one is cupped more. It has a more pronounced cup to it. So this is when you're really reaching in deep into your ear, then that cup will help facilitate pulling the wax out of your ear. And then you have another one which looks kind of like, I'm going to call it like a mushroom because I don't know what else to call it. They call it the annular ear pick. And this looks like a domed pick. And this is really designed, I guess, for cleaning the wax stuck in your outlines of your ear. So uh, more of your outer ear, you would use this to scrape that area. Now these are all silicone tips. So they're not uh, really something that you're 
going to hurt yourself with. Uh, the only thing that you do have to use great caution is that you don't insert any of these tips into your ear too far. Um, you don't want to perforate your eardrum by punching this into your eardrum accidentally. So just like your mama always told you, don't stick things in your ear. Um, Q-tips, cotton swab tips are something that my parents always uh, caution me against sticking in my ear to clean my ear. And the reason is because it is very easy to puncture your eardrum if you stick it in too far or if someone walks by you and bumps you while it's in there, you know, you know the drill. Now these, um, this last tip that I want to show you, this is actually a little foam tip and they call this a, a cotton swab actually. And this is to clean out oil in your ear. Now I don't use these myself, but that's what the intended purpose is for those. And as I said earlier, they do give you extras of the uh, tips, the plastic scraping tips, and they also give you an extra quantity of the cotton swab tips. So that is everything you get in the package. Let's uh, talk a little bit about the app. Now you do need to install an app on your phone and it is called Spade. And this device actually communicates to your phone using Wi-Fi. So once you turn this on, the next thing you want to do is go to your app and launch Spade. And then it's going to tell you that you need to connect to the Spade Wi-Fi. And so therefore we need to go into our settings, uh, make sure your Wi-Fi is on. If it's not on, turn it on and then look for the Spade network. Now, since I have already uh, connected to the Spade network, it's automatically been selected for me here. But uh, normally you would be connected to your home network and you would have to find the Spade network down underneath uh, where it says My Networks. So once you've got that connected, then you can go back to the app and then you hit the arrow. You're going to see various buttons along the bottom edge of it. Uh, you've got the horizontal and when you push horizontal that'll change to vertical. So if you want to look at it vertically, that's how you would change the orientation. Push it again and it goes back to horizontal. Then you have a button that says right and that's uh, what you want to push if you're going into your right ear. If you're going into your left ear, then you push left and it changes the orientation. Then you've got a button that says photo and that's if you want to take a photo of whatever you're looking at inside your ear. And then again, the same with video. You can take a live video and you can see this moving around as I move the device. Then when you want to look at the images or the videos that you've taken, you push the image and that basically takes you into your camera album. So you've got photos, you've got videos, and then you're allowed to select what you would like um, to uh, look at. And then there's your back button there. There's a personal center which uh, gives you various options. It tells you the version of the app that you're using. It has their privacy policy and it has a boot prompt here. And this basically is walking you through the steps of how to charge the device and how to store the tips and how to install a ear pick into the um, device here. And then if you just push start using, it takes you back to the main screen. You push the home page and that gets you back to all your other choices. Now the lens itself does give you a focus. They call it a focus lens. It's just not as quite a wide of a view. And when this is in your ear, you can see the difference. So let me slowly insert this in my ear. And then I'm going to switch the view once I get something that you can actually see. <laughs> okay, there's a lovely picture of some of the wax and some ear hairs. So let me push the focus lens. And you can see it basically just kind of zooms in. And then when I push the wide lens, it zooms out a little bit. I actually don't find that so useful and I don't use that too much myself. I usually just keep it on wide lens. So let's go exploring a little bit. So here we go. We're going to just very gently and slowly go into the ear and you can see exactly uh, a magnified view of what the inside of your ear looks like. And it's probably going to be kind of shocking to you. Once you see some wax that you want to remove, you just gently tilt the device and pull it out and then you'll, you'll see on the 
video here that it makes it look like it's just a gigantic huge amount of material that you've pulled out of your ear. But when you look at it very closely, you can barely see anything on the actual tip. So it's really magnifying what you are doing in your ear. So let's go back in again. And again, we'll try to go in a little bit deeper here this time just so you can get a better idea. The hardest thing for me is coordinating my hand movement with what I'm actually seeing on the screen of my phone. It just is, a, it's kind of a, an orienting thing that's weird. You just have to sort of get used to it. You have to train yourself. It's kind of like trying to back up a trailer. <laughs> the way you're moving your hand to move this around is not uh, intuitive. So there's a big chunk, or it looks like a big chunk. And again, when you pull it out, uh, you can, you know, you can just barely see anything on there. So my overall impression of this is very positive. Uh, granted, this is not the most a pleasant topic to talk about uh, scraping earwax out of your ear, but this tool does give you a view into your ear that you normally would never be able to see. And let's be honest, using a cotton swab to clean your ears really doesn't make any sense. Um, it's pretty wide at the tip, and when you're inserting it in your ear, you are literally pushing wax further into your ear. It's not helping the situation at all. Um, this, on the other hand, is actually going to allow you to scrape out of your ear, and it is effective. You do have to use a lot of caution using this. Obviously, I wouldn't let your children get anywhere near this, and it actually might be easier to have a partner actually manipulate this tool, uh, because uh, for me anyway, I just found it a little weird trying to coordinate my movement with what I was watching on the screen. But it's definitely a worthwhile investment. It seems to be well made. Uh, the variety of tips should allow you to uh, clean your ears uh, in a good fashion. It's, very, it's a very cool little device, must say. Uh, the battery does last a pretty long time, and once again, you do get uh, an indication of the battery level when you are in the app at the home screen. And right now, it tells me I have 45 minutes with 49% battery remaining. And I've used this a bunch of times. It doesn't take that long to charge. Again, you just plug it into the base and uh, charge it up by USB and you are good to go. So that is my review of the Spade Ear Cleaning Tool by Axel Glade. Uh, it's well made, it feels solid in the hand, and it's really useful. Uh, if I had uh, one comment, I just wish maybe you could vary the brightness of the light because sometimes it does seem to be just a little bit too bright. And some ear canals are narrower than others. I actually have a very narrow ear canal. So if you have a wider ear canal, some of the problems that I experience, maybe you won't because uh, it's hard for me to manipulate this because my ear canal is so narrow and then the ear hair uh, that's in your ear canal gets in the way and that sort of thing. So that's it. I really like this. It's the Spade by Axel Glade. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Just ask them down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you get instant notifications every time I upload a new video. Have a great day. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.